Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number four of my journeyman career in Football Manager 2015. Uh, currently, uh, continuing on with Braga here today. Uh, got a couple more games. And we have an unknown game soon. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a cup. But yeah, first up, away. There are two away games as well, so definitely it's going to be tough having some trips. Uh, but yeah, Vit uh, Gumaresh. I believe that's how they say the name, or that's just a guess. <laughs> to be honest, I think I heard one commentator say it once. But we shall move on. We actually have a chance to go top. Academica are in the same boat as well in their game. But yeah, we have the more goal difference uh, because of that 7-1 victory uh, a couple games ago. That was really amazing. That was a away match as well. So I'm not really using the excuse of a away match. To be honest, it's just a pitch at the end of the day. I don't really take too much into it. Um, I'm, I'm, I have faith. In the way we're playing, I have faith in the tactic, have faith in the players that we have, yeah, possession uh, based tactic, and our players suit that, and yeah, no worries about that. Uh, one problem though, a goalkeeper has picked up a lengthy injury, definitely lengthy for a goalkeeper. We expect to be out for three weeks, so that could be a downside. But again, if we maintain possession, if we continue on that philosophy, don't really let them have many chances, it shouldn't really matter. But uh, he's another young keeper as well. The other guy isn't so amazing. This guy's 23, um, Kretziuk. Uh, no idea if that's how you say his name, but he's got potential as well. Three-star potential. So he can grow. Uh, doesn't say what his potential, just says potential to be a good player. Not so. Doesn't say how good in the league. But um, yeah, he should be able to do an okay job. He's not like so bad. He's not like a youth player or something. But yeah, I think I'll continue with the same team. Or I did make one change. I brought in Adelan Santos. Um, he's the only one that's really low condition because he needs actually match conditioning along with the goalkeeper. But I think that's it. I'll leave yeah the same team uh, that kept a clean sheet last time out. But you know, one difference uh, from the previous game. Now Adair, he wants to leave um, to Sporting. But yeah, they didn't even come up with the offer. Are they interested anymore? And they aren't even interested anymore. So I think he might have to give up on that. And if you notice, notice last episode, he was valued 1.6 million. And now he's valued 2.5. So if a uh, yeah, offer does come in, it will be a little bit more at least. So that is the positive sign with that because he's been playing well, deserved the increase in his value. Uh, without a doubt, and we're not actually favourites in this game. Uh, Vita Gumaris is, so uh, we're going to have to be careful of them. They must be a decent team uh, with some decent players uh, there. So actually, oh, what am I thinking about here? I'm thinking because I don't have much knowledge of the teams I'm playing against. I'm thinking about maybe I should use, uh, let my assistant do opposition instructions or at least listen to them. Uh, what they have to say. I'm just trying to check out where are we staff. I want to check out my assistant manager, George uh, Rosario. What kind of judging? Yeah, he's got tactical knowledge. Eleven. It's nothing too amazing. Or I might do it positional. I might do it positional. And by that I mean, if I go so positions, I might do it this way. Maybe the wide players I will close down because usually they are pacey guys. So I like to close down them and show onto the weaker foot. And then I don't have to do it for the substitute players, which I never did in the first place. Uh, the attacking midfielder, usually a good passer. You'll tight mark and show on to weaker foot. And striker, I like to tight mark as well. I think that'll be good. But we'll see how that goes down anyway. That's what I think is best to do uh, for yeah teams that I don't have full knowledge on myself without checking out the player's profile specifically, but they'll make videos too long. Uh, what are we going to do here? Hmm... I'm just having a little think to get the right team tactic or the team talk, sorry. Um, assertive? We'll do assertive something. Assertive. We've on. We've been on a good run lately, so go out there and impress me. Yeah, not a bad reaction. couple players listening passionately, so we'll see if that does make a difference. And I love uh, playing this Braga save right now or journeyman because the tactic I'm playing, it's attractive football, and I love seeing my team play every week or, yeah, every game because... Um, it's attractive stuff. And one thing, they have Biro Biro. He's a good young Brazilian talent. Not, I don't think he's so, so good, but yeah, he's uh, like a dribbler, kind of a Neymar type. Not as good as Neymar, I'm not saying. It's just the kind of type of player, like a winger. And we score! Rafa! That's what I mean. Uh, this guy's going to be a very good player. And again, it's an assist from the centre-back. This time, Adelan Santos. Take a look at this again if it shows it. If not, you have to go back and see. But you, nah. Nah, sorry about that. That's just the highlights in the game now. And he's going very, very slow. Super slow-mo um, highlight there. But yeah, it was set up by Adelan Santos. 
Uh, what's here, Andre Andre? What a name, yeah? Andre Andre. <laughs> That's a pretty cool name. So yeah, centre-backs are a crucial part, not just for defending, for setting up attacks as well. Remember that game where Mainz got three assists, <laughs> uh, that, where we scored seven goals? So yeah, they do play a big impact in attack. Ruben Mikael finds Agra. And we're going to do it again. Agra! Oh, he played that well to create it for Ruben Mikael. He dribbled through. And we are just playing some great stuff here. Look at that. Salvador Agra. He can do it all himself. Look at that. Dribbling through about three players there and set it up for Ruben Mikael, uh, who's our key creative player uh, in centre mid. And he came up and scored that. <laughs> great start to the game. Yeah, like I said, home or away, doesn't really matter. It's a pitch. We're going to play our football. But unfortunately, wow, Alves came up. And again, poor keeper. Maybe our better keeper would have saved that. But yeah, it was a good strike. Um from Alves on that occasion. They won a header from uh, Collado. Then it was poor defending there. Who was that? That was Mainz. Couldn't get... Yeah, couldn't body him there. And yeah, Alves scores. And see, that's the thing with this tactic. There wouldn't generally be too much changes to it because it's the same... It's Yeah, I haven't really decided what would be my more defensive version of this yet. And as long as we're playing like this... <laughs> uh, just like, yeah, attacks after attacks after attacks, scoring goals. I don't feel I need to change it unless we... Yeah, unless we face a problem where it is a problem, and I haven't yet faced that yet, so uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Come on, Custodio, Mauro, Bayano crosses, it's Rafa! Whoa, that was a dangerous cross, but maybe it was just a little bit, a little bit too much in front of him, if anything. Uh, that's why he couldn't get it on target, of course. Oh, Collado! Ooh, good defending there. Rafa, Adair, Salvador Agra. Bayano see these complete wingbacks getting forward. He tries to dribble past Mauro. Salvador Agra set it up again. He does. Oh, Adair. It's still alive. No, it's not. The highlight ended for some reason. I don't know why, but it did. Mikael. Ooh. Put it in the danger zone, but nothing eventuated from that. Biro Biro to Andre Andre. <laughs> this is like the team of the double names. Oh, no, Collado in space. Whoa. He could have maybe set that up or something. But, yeah, they're the team of the double names. Andre, Andre, and Biro, Biro. So, we'll go assertively. Have to say, don't get complacent. It's that away match, only winning by a goal. Um, Diego Mains looking stressed. What will I say to him? Say cautiously, um, I need a lot more to come from you. Okay, looks happy. I'm... I'm cautious about talking to my players cautiously. I've never really done it too much, but yeah, it looks like it got the job done because when you think cautious, I don't see it as a really good team talk, So, but it worked well there. I may have to use it a bit more if that's the reaction. But yeah, I've rarely ever used cautious. Oh, Salvador Agra. Is that a pen? It is. It's a pen. Who's this? Who's going to step up for it? Oh, is it Bayano, the right back? Let's see what he can do here. Power it, yeah? Oh, no. How did, I thought it would be. I was a bit skeptical about my right back taking the penalty, but it was a good height for a keeper. Disappointing to miss that. Wow. Oh, but we get it back anyway. <laughs> uh, we get a goal back anyway through Mauro, so no worries there. And he scores his first goal for Braga. Uh, well done. One of our players was on the ground there. Ruben Mikael set it up, and Mauro. No one was marking him. He was all alone. It doesn't matter who you are. You're going to finish that if no one is marking you. If you're a professional footballer, that was too easy, I think. Oh, come on, clear it. Oh, this is going to be a high-scoring game. A new goalkeeper coming in. Maybe the defenders are uneasy and not yeah, not familiar. Not just because he's a not as good goalkeeper, but they're unfamiliar with their goalkeeper. Yeah, it's just a different type with a communication and all that kind of stuff. And he just smashed that while he was still getting up. He was never going to save that. So I think we need to make some changes. We'll go with the team talk first, though. And we'll say assertively tighten up. We'll see what happens here. Come on. They got Cafu. Back to Bruno Gaspar to Andre Andre. Play it through to Giver. Oh, is he on? No way. Surely that was an onside. Come on, clear this. Oh, the two goals from corners. No way. Like if we defended those two chances, it would be 3-1. What are we going to do here? 
Adair's had a bad game. See, that's what those... Oh, why did he want to leave? If he didn't say that, I reckon he would have a bit more morale. But I guess we're just going to bring on Felipe Pardo. Let's see how he does as a striker. Alan's going to come on with superb morale. Uh, who can take off Agra? Agra, he's uh, he started well. Who's on the left side? Ruff has had it. Nah, well, Agra, I don't want to take him off because his condition is real good. But I want to bring Alan on. What do I do? I don't know. Or maybe... Oh, I want to keep Ruffer on for sure. He's had a great game. Now, nah, I have to go for Salvador Agra, even though he created the first goal, which was fantastic. Um, one more. Maybe Thiago Rodriguez in midfield. Marara scored. Uh, I'll bring off, yeah, Ruben Mikael. Uh, just 76 condition. Freshened up a little bit. Thiago Rodriguez, a very good creative force we signed from FC Porto. Vision, really good uh, good passer. So hopefully we'll be able to create something for us. We'll see how it goes. And I'm actually going to change mentality to attacking. The control, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working in this game. I just want to yeah, go out, attack, and try and score. Felipe Pardo, go assertive. Uh, second option there. And Alan, uh, show me what you got today. Uh, we're not getting good reactions here. Thiago Rodriguez, press her off. Yeah, we're just getting seam deep in thoughts. <laughs> uh, that's just the average reaction. Not bad or good. And again, let's see what happened here. Why couldn't we defend it? Uh, yeah, it just fell right to him. And then, yeah, he hit it. So, not much you can do, honestly. Come on. Enrique. Custodio. Thiago Rodriguez. Tamaro. Plays in Alan. Finds Biano, the guy who missed a penalty, but that's Pardo. He just comes on. He comes on and scores. See, this is a situation. On yeah, on control, I wasn't doing too amazing. Well, we scored three goals on it, but defending not so. There's not really. Uh, we couldn't really go defensive with this kind of tactic. It doesn't really suit because playing like offside trap. Everyone going back. It doesn't. It doesn't work like that. So we'll see. We'll keep it on attacking. Maybe just yeah, best form of defense is attack. That could be a situation. And it seems to be going okay so far. They make... Show me... Oh, I'm just thinking about what kind of changes. We already made three subs, but uh, at least positional. Like, it's not even fluid yet. So anything we've changed will go back even more. So I'm still... I'm comfortable uh, with it like this on attack because, yeah, we dominate. And, like, maybe score another one to kill it off. Like I said, away, home, doesn't matter. I want to showcase that here. I want to showcase that we can beat anyone on their own turf. Rafa played in for him. He goes to Alan. That is exactly what I meant. That is exactly what I meant. Doesn't matter about playing home and away with this tactic. This is about dominating the games and creating something special. And this is still really, really early in this career. And it looks like uh, we have started fairly well. We'll see how we go here. Alves, come on, defend this. <laughs> they score. You should probably say go defensive, and this is where you could probably sit back a lot more. But again, I'm going to yeah stick true to my guns. Come on. But he just has to defend that better. Like, there's a defender there. It's not like there's no defenders there because I'm going to attacking. There's a man there. He just didn't defend good. <laughs> That's the way it was. But we are going to pick up a win here. And it was entertaining. Nine goals for you. Lots of goals here. What a game. It was pretty good. I'll say passionately, a nice victory. We won away from home. Uh, we played some great stuff. Uh, it was pretty equal though. But we go first. So things must be going right. So some bad news here. Rafa has picked up a groin strain. And he's going to be out for three weeks. He's been a really good player for us uh, in the games he's played. So we're going to miss him. Uh, he's going to be out for three weeks, but hopefully he comes back bigger and better because, yeah, he showed some great signs for us. Oh, more injuries as well. Philippe, oh no, this is just training reports. Okay, I'm going to do this now, but if you have any other suggestions if I should do this or not, um, uh, Gradel and Felipe Pardo keep coming to me and saying they're unhappy with the amount of training they're asked to do. So I'm going to drop it to lights, and if that does fix it, do you think that's good if I do continue to do that? But... Uh, leave your thoughts. They just, yeah, they don't seem happy with it at the minute. 
So here's the next game. Away to Aruka, I believe this team is. Uh, they're the worst team in the league at the minute. Uh, they haven't picked up any points, uh, which is pretty bad of them. <laughs> uh, to be honest, zero games drawn, zero one, all losses. Uh, so even though, again, it's away from home, uh, we'll be looking to win this game uh, with relative ease. So we'll just go to yeah the team. Again, not really needing many changes. Um, again, we've got their goalkeeper, uh, Kritsiuk. Oh, yeah, of course. I have to take out Sami. Oh, not Sami, sorry, Rafa. Because uh, he's got that injury. He's been a good player for me. Uh, you can see his average rating. Uh, two goals and assist in three games. Average rating really solid, 7.73. And, yeah, hopefully he can come back. Um, and hopefully he's not injured and has trouble coming back, all that kind of thing. We'll be back around in three weeks. You see injury if you missed it earlier. Yeah, two weeks now uh, for his groin strain. But that means I'll just swap Salvador Agra to the left wing. He can play natural on both sides. You can see there it's that bright green. Uh, you can see. So if I, I just prove it. For people that want to prove, see natural and natural. Um, he'll be who he, he might suit playing on the left side though because he he cuts in like obviously in the inside forward role cuts in and he's naturally right footed so he's very strong so he could be even better on this side who knows he might score some I guess we will find out so that means Alan is going to come right wing uh, our captain of the team it's good to actually play your captain uh, but any other changes I don't believe uh, need to be made. If anything, another change on the bench. I took out Willy Bolly and I brought someone else onto the bench. I'm not sure who. Oh, yeah, Muhammad Assam. I feel maybe need another attacking talent. Uh, the guy we signed on a free transfer. Uh, he's a good player. Um, he's a good impact player off the bench. He'll be one of those players of flair that tries tricks, uh, dribbler. Uh, he's got acceleration and agility, so it'll be interesting what kind of impact he'll make. He just seems like one of those, yeah, flair players. Uh, that will come off the bench and make an impact just by all looks of him, uh, everything that I can see. So, Muhammad Hassan, what number we're going to give him? Number 9? Uh, I'll give him number 11. He prefers number 7, though, but we don't have number 7 available, unfortunately. So, yeah, we'll go, yeah, number 11 for him. I'll give number 9 to, like, a natural striker when, if we sign one. Ooh, they've got a solid flat five in midfield. It could be hard to break down because we look to dominate midfield, of course, with possession. Uh, but they've got, yeah, flat five in midfield. They may be looking to play that to counteract us. So we'll see how it goes. So... Again, uh, I'm not going to do any opposition instructions because I feel, yeah, uh, this is a really poor team. I just want to, yeah, go play out, uh, go out, play my game. Here we'll go assertively. Uh, what options we have here? Yeah, pick up where you left off last time out. Even though it wasn't our best game because we did concede some goals, but we scored our own as well. We've showed in different games we can keep a clean sheet, and in other games uh, we show we can score multiple goals, like a lot of goals. So we'd like to keep another clean sheet, though. We'll see how it goes. But Ruben Mikael, what a start. Free kick, smashed it. You're not going to get better than that. That's a class free kick. And if we keep winning, it's going to mean good things uh, for the future um, of this journeyman career. Uh, my resume is going to be looking good. It would be great if I could win the league with Braga. That would be a solid competition to win this first season and then get into Champions League. That would be real good for my resume. Obviously, you probably wouldn't imagine we'd do heaps, but who knows what could happen. But unfortunately, uh, on loan left back, Enrique has picked up an injury, so we're going to bring on Javan, who I actually really like for this role because of his high off the ball, uh, 17, and his quickness and his good yeah, attributes uh, going forward. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not so displeased about that, but Enrique, he's been doing solidly for me so far without being amazing. Show me what you got today, Javan. And, yeah, it's going to give him a good 60 minutes, uh, yeah, 60 minutes to show me what he can do. Come on, boy. Danilo's on for them. Save this. Oh, this keeper's real poor. Uh, other keeper's better. You think these kind of chances can do a bit better there? You look... He's one-on-one, -on -one, though. Danilo, one-on-one. -on -one. Come on. Yeah. Got to do better. I think we'll go attack. Yeah, play fast attacking football. Oh, come on. I'll do a quick team talk before half time. Maybe try and score or something. We'll go assertive and say, show some passion. 
Come on, lads. Okay, here's a chance. Will it have worked or not, or will we concede? I guess we'll find out here. Maurer picks it up in midfield. Custodio goes back to Mainz. They've got an injured left back. But they win the ball back here, so... We have to be careful now, but win it. Come on. Tackle. Tackle or Arthur. Arthur, it's Danilo. Whoa. This is definitely not our best game. I got, maybe I got a bit of head of myself. Like, I thought we were going to win this game for sure because they're last. Come on. Let's go aggressive. I'm far from pleased with this performance here. Maybe Rafa is a really crucial player for us. We're not sure. He's been an impact in all games so far. Oh, come on. We're not... Yeah, we're not playing our general game here. Oh, no. Please don't be a red. He said he went down like he'd been shot. Oh, I thought that was going to be a red. Lucky. But maybe they've got it right tactically. They got the five in midfield, and we're not dominating possession. Come on. But this is what the best teams do. The best teams counteract this and they find a way out of the trouble. Can we do that now? Come on, Alan. Mauro. Mains. The passing around. Yeah, getting out of that danger is good. Oh, that's a good ball for Adair. Adair. Oh, the direction it was right. It was just a bit too high. Oh, Custodio's injured. We get another injury. Two injuries in this game. Oh, we're going to have to fight Pedro Tiba. Do we, have a we don't even have a defensive midfielder. I think Mauro can play there, can't he? That's actually his natural role. See there, um, as a defensive midfielder. Who's going to come on, though? Felipe Pardo scored in the last game. Do we take off Eder or Agra? Uh, Agra's played poor. We'll take off Salvador Agra. And Felipe Pardo come there. His natural role, I believe, as a left winger. Oh, no, his natural as a right winger. But still, it's still a winger. Inside forward role, though. We'll confirm that. And we'll go Pedro Tiba. We'll say passionately, show me what you got today. Again, assertive for Felipe Pardo. There's a lot more to come from you. Yeah, he looks happy with that and hopefully he can do the same like he scored in the previous game. Come on. Let's see what we can do here. We're playing against a team that's last. They've lost every single game so far. So you can see why I would give myself every chance to win this. Shoot! He's off his line. Uh, Alan. Mauro. The passing's good. Javan. Penalty! Yes! Who is it going to take it this time? Oh, it's Alan this time. The captain. A bit more reliable than the right back, you would imagine. So Alan to step up. Oh my god! Alan! No way! You're the captain! Wowee. Are you serious? And that's probably going to drop his confidence now. Going to make it even harder to do something. Tackle him. Oh, Javan, don't get a red. <sighs> what do we do team talk wise here? How more attacking... Because no, I like the placement of my players. Everything is set perfectly. I don't want to mess with that. We're on attacking. Um, for me, all we can do from here is team talks. Everything like team instructions and everything is set exactly for the positions and everything how I want to play. You can't mess with that. But maybe we'll just... We'll go assertive, say, push forward. We'll say that through that way. And we'll see what happens here. Then I might change instructions. I got one in mind at least. At least one. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Okay, let's go. Come on. Ruby Mikael. Javan. Yes, come on. Put the cross in. It's a penalty. Surely. This time. Felipe Pardo. This time. Pardo. Well, I know I'm gonna change my. <laughs> yeah, I know who I'm gonna change my main penalty taker to now. Pardo we had a couple guys, but they failed, and Felipe Pardo hit that powerfully. Well done. Now stop quick. Yes. Now I can go a bit more responsible. I have no idea what I'm doing though. 
<laughs> okay, I've made all subs, but I just want to take a look at it like this, what we can do. We'll go control, just control a bit more, not just not attacking completely. And we'll go that. Come on. Whew, we'll see what we're going to do here. Make sure they don't get any chances. Oh, no. They, they're on here. They're on. Oh, lucky. That was a real poor shot. So now instructions. See, what I would have went to before, I was thinking about going to much higher tempo if we didn't score. And maybe, what else is there? Yeah, I'm already playing much higher defensive line. And yeah, there's not much, yeah, there's not much more I could add. So yeah, that's what I meant. Cancel. But what we will do is go team talk. Maybe calmly, because we're playing well. We'll just say tighten up in a calm tone. So we'll say that. Let's go. Oh, come on. Uh, this kind of... <laughs> the, the games in this episode were kind of just surviving. We're kind of just winning by that goal. It would be great to get another here, though. Adelan Santos nah, doesn't decide to play it long. Decide to switch it here. Biano. Adair. Oh. <laughs> you know he's good in the air. Decent header. Unfortunately, couldn't find the back of the net, though. Just need to hold on here. They're going more attacking. There could be a goal for someone. Could it be for us? Adair. Can he whip something in? He Ooh. Oh, that's a red. No. I thought he tackled him. <laughs> Javan. Pedro Tiba. Back to Mauro. Back to Pedro Tiba. Biano. Cross this. He didn't. He didn't do anything. Come on, a second opportunity. He knows this time to put it in right away. The second time he knew because Adair was there and he scores his third of the season. And that must clinch it. You see, Biano, that time he knew to put it in. Adair, nice little touch and uh, just had to finish past the keeper there very, very nicely. This is a bit more convincing now. 3-1 looks much better than a 2-1. <laughs> Especially away from home. 3-1 victories are pretty solid. And that is it. 3-1 victory. That looks a bit better. And yeah, Adair had a class game. Two assists and a goal. Had a hand in every single game. or Not every single game, sorry. In every single goal, more specifically. And yeah, that guy, yeah, Biano had a great game. You see him roaming forward all the time as that complete win back. Great result. Yeah, we maintain our position, uh, top of the league. And yeah, we did dominate. We did deserve that win. We dominate possession like I planned. Second half was a bit better, though, in terms of dominating possession. First half, I felt they contained us better. But yeah, second half, we kicked on. And yeah, we won that game 3-1. Uh, it was a convincing result at the end of the day. And like I said, where are we going to go? Where's the team tactics? Here we go. Penalty takers. Let's pick this up. Penalty takers. Who's first? Wait, no one's there. Didn't I do that? Oh, I did set piece. I didn't do penalty takers. No wonder. It... No wonder no one... Uh, who was the one that took the penalties? Alan? He's got 13 for penalties. You think he could finish it? And Bayano was the other time. The other guy who missed it. And where's he? So he's still got 12. Okay, so here I'll set up my best ones at least. And should be sorted. You got Mikael... Ooh, Idair probably. And you got Marcelo Guyano. Uh, oh, Guyano, he's the right back. We got Guyano and Bayano. Oh my god. <laughs> so confusing, yeah? Uh, Marcelo, how good's this guy? Mm, he looks okay. What's his problem right now? He's lacking match fitness. Might need him to get playing for the under 19 squad because, uh, yeah, he needs to be fit to play, obviously. And, yeah, when he... Ooh, Adair's there. We'll bring in a la He missed the penalty, though. His composure's poor. We'll bring that Goyano. His composure's good. Um, And then Rafa. Actually, Rafa above that Goyano. He's a right back. Don't forget. And, yeah, Alan fifth. Maybe he just had a bad penalty before. And then Assam, 12. Hmm. I'll bring Pardo because he scored that. So, hmm, should I leave it at that? Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, we've got 10 messages to attend to. Uh, what do we have here? Spirit finishing. Yeah, good win for us. Oh, no, that actually Braga B. And Braga B is using our tactic as well. I always do that. 
Wait, actually, no, they're not, because they're not part of us, sort of. Uh, no, they wouldn't. I think, anyway. We're going to have to check it out. Let's go split. Can you check the formation? How do you check their formation? Usually, it would be go going stats, but you can't see it that in depth. But anyway, just for example, so you know, if you go to staff here, and then go to responsibilities, and if you go to first team, there's no... Well, there's Braga B here, but there's no selection like under 19s to play matches with first team tactics. There's no option for that. Oh, oh, yeah, what do you... When you have a team like this, I know, um, yeah, La Liga's like this. What do you do with the B team? Do you do do you tick uh, player purchases handled by Braga B, but take off player sales? You don't want them selling yeah, some of your players? Uh, what do you do for that? So, yeah, I can see what some of you guys do. But anyway, um, that was it. Got some injuries here. Jabril, uh, he's not playing for me, though. He's injured for three months. And Hugo Basto. These guys must be in the B team. Yeah, they're in the B team, so it's not really a huge concern to me right now. Uh, Henrique, he's injured three to four days. Short injury. I'm not going to terminate the loan for that. Definitely not. Apparently, he's blaming the referee. <laughs> he might as well um, if they lose. But anyway, uh, it was... An interesting two games. We definitely didn't dominate, but they were away games. Uh, but at least there's a lot of goals for you to see. So drop a like if you want to see some more of this career. Uh, if you want to see it compared to Manchester United. Of course, I've got a lot of Manchester United coming because I've recorded that more. Uh, that's just the way it's gone. But I'll record this more over the next couple of days. So look out for that as well. And I'll see you guys next time.